Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on Cadence Virtuoso. So in this video we will be designing the layout for CMOS NAND gate using Cadence Virtuoso. So in a CMOS NAND gate the two NMOS are connected in series and the two PMOS are connected in parallel. So we will be designing these using Cadence Virtuoso layout editor. So as you can see I have opened this uh, layout editor home page. Now we will generate the transistors and the pins. So we will be uh, taking a separation of 0 0.12. So as you can see we are generating the two PMOS and the two NMOS. So as you can see they are connected out they are generated outside the boundary. Now I will move them inside the PR boundary. This uh, green line which you can see that is the PR boundary. So as you can see now we have the two PMOS and the two NMOS gates and we also have five pins the two inputs a b that uh, vdd ground and the output uh, so these are the five pins and the two transistors so first we will connect the two pmos in series so as you can see sorry in the two pmos in parallel so as you can see now these two pmoses are connected in parallel so we can also uh, stretch this boundary as much as we want so I will stretch the boundary to increase the working area so we can stretch them using the S key on your keyboard so we will make this working area as big as possible now we will uh, detach the substrate area. So I am detaching the substrate area and for PMOS I will keep the substrate area at the top. So as you can see this the substrate area is at the top. So now uh, this uh, area is only for the first transistor. Now I will increase it for the second transistor also so they will be sharing a common substrate so now we will uh, making a rectangle so we will just uh, stretch this substrate area so we will create a rectangle which will be connected to this substrate area so yes this substrate area is now created and this is the n well you can see uh, the layer on the left hand side that we have selected is the n well so you also have to select the N-well because the PMOS is always uh, uh, ma uh, made in N-well and the N-MOS is always made in P-well. So now we will connect the two N-MOS transistors in series because in the NAND gate the two N-MOS transistors are connected in series. So now we will, uh, so now these two PMOS N-MOS transistors are connected in series. So as you can see they have two gates, they, the gates are uh, shown by a green uh, vertical stripe. Now we will make the connections as per the schematic. Later we will match the layout versus schematic also. So the LVS is a important tool to check the, uh, to verify the design. So we will connect the gate of the PMOS to the NMOS so as you can see this is now connected and you can also make use of the navigator to see the connections so you can see these two gates are connected uh, to the input B so we will make the connection to the input B using the wire because the metal is uh, blue and the gate is green uh, so the wire has to be there for a uh, for connecting the metal to the polysilicon so uh, we will uh, generate now a wire so you can see i am generating a wire between metal and polysilicon so this is the uh, wire for metal to polysilicon because the polysilicon green uh, the green 
uh, vertical is the polysilicon and the blue is the metal so they have to be connected uh, using wire only they cannot be connected directly so let me join this so now they are they will be joined so we have to make sure that uh, the joining is perfect otherwise uh, we will give uh, DRC errors that is the re design rule check errors so uh, I will move this metal contact now uh, to up so this is the second input so the connections for the second input are now made now we will make the connections for the first input also because a NAND gate has two inputs so as you can see I have connected the gates of the PMOS and the NMOS now I will provide the connection to the uh, second input also so again we will be using a wire for the connection of metal to the polysilicon so if you have any doubt you can post your comment in the comment box I will reply to all the doubts uh, because uh, you know uh, this is the uh, layout is a complicated step so you may get some errors design rule check errors so if you have any doubt you can post your doubt in the comment box and I will surely uh, reply to your do uh, doubts and try to solve uh, if you have found any errors during the design but I am sure if you follow these steps as I am doing uh, then you will not be having any errors because uh, this designing uh, I have done uh, keeping the design rules in mind only so the connections for the first input are also made now now we will make the connections for the ground the output and the VDD so first we will generate the N well for the uh, sorry P well for the NMOS also so again we will uh, make a body type as detached and take it to be at the bottom so as you can see this N well is now at the bottom so this P well for the NMOS is now created at the bottom so similarly uh, as we had done earlier we had created a rectangular region for the second transistor also here also we will create a rectangular region for the second transistor so in the layer you have to select the N well so as you can see so let me again uh, make the connections proper yes now it is proper so uh, now we will uh, draw a N well sorry a P well for the N MOS also So let me do it. So I am selecting a P well. So PW you can see I have selected. Now I will draw a rectangle for giving a P well connection to the for giving a P well to the second transistor also. So as you can see both the transistors are made uh, using the same P well. So this is a very important step. Now we will make the other connections so as you can see now first we will make the connection to the output pin again uh, we have taken the help of the navigator and made the connection to the output now uh, fine you can see the input A is connected the input B is connected now we will connect the ground also and the VDD connection is also left so I have al already described these uh, connections uh, in detail in the previous videos of uh, the layout of NOR gate and inverter so uh, watch those videos also you will get a little bit more help and uh, as, as we know that NAND, NOR and inverter these are the basic gates so I have designed the layout for NAND gate, NOR gate and inverter also 
and in this video we are designing the layout for the CMOS NAND gate. So as you can see we have connected the ground pin to the NMOS. Now we will make the connections for the VDD pin also. So as you can see this is the VDD pin let me move it uh, at the top for the connection with the PMOS because VDD is always at the top. So we will take a take the connection from the PMOS and connect it to VDD. So as you can see this is also connected let me show you. So just I will drag it a little bit more. So as you can see it is giving me some error so I will try to solve that error. So I have made the path a bit longer because it was saying that the path is very small. So as you can see the connection to the VDD pin has also been created. So all the connections I think are now are created only the we will have to connect this uh, to the second PMOS also. So we will take a similar connection and connect it to the second PMOS also. So this is the final connection and now our layout is now complete. So just let me uh, make it a little longer. Yes, now it is properly connected. So as you can see, this is the final layout for the CMOS NAND gate. All the connections are now complete. You can check from the navigator window also. Now the final steps that are remaining are the DRC and the LVS and finally we will uh, do the RC extraction also. So as you can see this layout is looking really nice. Now we will run uh, Asura DRC. So all the settings are correct only. We will, we will save our layout and run the DRC. So the DRC is also complete and you can see no DRC errors are found. So there are no design rule check errors and our design is perfect. Now we will run LVS also. So let me run the LVS. So LVS will also be correct only. So as you can see the layout versus schematic is matching perfectly and there are no errors in the matching of the LVS. Now we will do the RC extraction. So now we will do make a RC extraction and we will extract the resistances and the capacitances. So as you can see the RC extraction is now also complete. We will choose the AV extracted view and you can see these are the extracted resistance and capacitance. So we can see the various resistances and capacitances. Paras these are the parasitic elements which are present in our design and they will surely uh, lead to the redu uh, reduction in performance and we have to 
optimize our design so that these are very very small in quantity so thank you please like and share the video and subscribe the channel and share your feedback in the comment box also share your doubts in the comment box thank you